Four Knights game, Scotch accepted, Belgrade Gambit, 5, B7. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. The three knights opening begins with nc3, which controls the d5 square and supports the e4 pawn. nf6 develops the knight, attacks the e4 pawn, and controls the d5 square. d4 takes space in the center, attacks the e5 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. x4 captures the d4 pawn and opens up the center. Nd5 centralizes the knight and denies black the possibility of pinning the c3 knight with bb4. b7 develops the bishop toward the center, adds a defender to the f6 knight and prepares to castle kingside. It is the last book move. That pawn's capture grants you material. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. Recaptures from a previous move. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. It is best. This attacks a queen, winning a tempo when it moves away. It is excellent. This moves the queen to safety. It is excellent. This immobilizes the opponent's bishop by pinning it to the king. It is excellent. That's fine. It is good. This misses a chance to mold a bishop for advancement. It is incorrect. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. It is best. A solid choice. It is excellent. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The pawn is now in a safe position. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. This captures a vulnerable pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. Backs off. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A very strong play. It is excellent. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. That's good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is excellent. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is best. Recaptures. White is equal at this point in the endgame. 
it is ideal. This evades the check from the rook. It is forced. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This forks pieces by creating a simultaneous attack. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is quite good. This blocks the check from an opposing queen. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses a queen winning danger. It is ideal. This poses a checkmate threat. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the checking pawn farther away. It is ideal. This pins a pawn, which restricts its mobility. This is the only good move. It is a great move. From a prior move, recaptures. It is ideal. This creates a threat to win a pawn. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The pawn is now adequately defended. It is best. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This steps away from the checking queen. It is best. This poses a material threat. It is ideal. This defends the pawn that was attacked. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This avoids the queen's check. It is ideal. This misses an opportunity to threaten checkmate. It is an inaccuracy. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. This protects an underdefended pawn that is under attack. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Balanced neither player ever had an advantage. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.